I didn't realize that when I was buying a Harley that it would come with people. I thought I was buying a motorcycle. I didn't realize I was buying a family. My day-to-day job is under a lot of pressure. The Harley-Davidson experience is about getting away from that. It's an escape. It's being able to realize that there's a lot more in life other than just the job. And then the people, my gosh, you couldn't have better friends. Personalities, just different directions all over, but they all get along together. And I think it's a respect thing, where you respect them for the person they are. Our, just, our main objective is to have fun and socialize and enjoy the ride, the freedom I'm out there riding. I do it to get away from my work. I think the rest of them do too. When I come back from a ride, uh, I might be a little bit physically tired, but my, my mind is clear. Riding to me is therapeutic, you know. And it just kind of relaxes me and just kind of puts me at ease. see a Harley parked in front of a psychiatrist's office, do you? There's people that you interact with that are just fun to talk to. You, you kind of look for people that have the same writing style, have the same commitment, have the same expertise. And then socially, you get along very well. My wife Mary, she and I just recently met and got married and she's really an inspiration to me and I really enjoy being on the bike with her and now seeing her ride on her own. Uh, looking forward to that in the future years to come. It's been great for me, great bunch of people. Wish I had known about it 20 years ago and I could have had more years of this kind of riding which I, I really enjoy. tendency not to join groups, but this is one group of people that I am sure glad I did join. I like what the hog people do as far as uh, having these chapters, and it's probably one of the better things I've done in my life. The two-week trips that we take, Alan generally plans his trip every summer. He maps it out, and then we all get together, and everybody kind of gives some input. Those are my favorite trips. I did my first group ride in 2007. I thought it would be interesting to be able to just put together a ride for myself, something that I may want to do, and ask openly to a group of people in, my, in our chapter if they'd be interested in riding along. And it's just kind of built ever since then. We took one trip that went up into Maine, uh, Devil's Tower, down through uh, Arizona and Utah, through the southern states, through Texas. We rode down to Hollister, Zion and Bryce Canyon. And we did Wyoming. Sturgis was fun. Grand Canyon. We went down the Oregon coast. Colorado's a stunning state. From Arlington, Virginia, down to Key West, back up through the Gulf Coast. A lot of these places I would have never seen if it hadn't been for riding on the back of a bike. But mostly I'm looking for the new experiences. That's what I enjoy the most. The new rides, the new sights. That's the fun. The ride yesterday was wet. It's Seattle weather this time of year. The cold weather and, and wet weather is something we can deal with. Well, it was my first group ride since I've gotten my license, which was about a month ago. As much as I miss having her on the bike, it's just a lot of fun to, to see her on her own. It was terrific. I, I enjoyed it. I was nervous because I, I'm pretty connected to this group of people. I didn't want to let them down. You know, if you're going to ride year-round here, that's what you get. you get. You have to learn to ride in the cold, and you have to learn to ride in the rain. But I think it was a really good experience. It, it felt like a challenge, and it felt like a challenge that I, that I succeeded at. I think all of us have been through that kind of thing, so we want to make sure that we nurture, you know, our, our new riders. And I think it's part of, the, part of the culture to kind of look out for somebody. I was comfortable riding yesterday, even though it was in a difficult situation because of those people. Because I knew they were there to support me. I got a lot of good feedback and a lot of great encouragement. And it was nice. It was nice to have my first group ride with that group that I'm, that I'm so close to. One's accomplishment is all of our accomplishments. We feel very happy for them. Absolutely proud of her. Only being on a bike for, for you know, a few weeks and being this being her first long ride, uh, just outstanding. Just an excellent, excellent job. And I really look forward to uh, riding with her a lot for us to you know share things as we see them on the road.
The group, these people here, they've become my very, very close friends. The friendships and the bonds that have come together as a result of this are very strong. They're there for you no matter what. They mean the world to me. They're, they're my best friends and I, and I just love them to death. People are important and if you can share these things with people, I think you really should do that.